So if you think of the eye as basically hollow, filled with fluid, that fluid pressure within the eye pushes against the wall of the eye. And 99% of the wall of the eye tolerates that fluid pressure just fine. But the place that's most vulnerable is where all the nerve tissue leaves uh, through the optic nerve. The optic nerve is a collection of nerve cells uh, that collect all the visual information from the retina and transmit it to the brain. And the pressure that causes damage is quite variable from patient to patient. A pressure that's totally tolerated by one patient might be damaging to another patient. So often patients say, what should my pressure be? Or what's normal? And really we can't think of a, a specific number as being normal. We speak in terms of ranges. So we can say what's average pressure or what pressure range do most people fall within? It's kind of like when we talk about how, how, how tall a person is. You know, normal height for men might be from 5'4 to 6'5. If someone's 6'6, it doesn't mean they're abnormal. It means they're tall and they're, high, they're taller than most patients. Um, with eye pressure, the average pressure is about 16. 95% of people fall between 10 and 21. Now, if you're 22, that doesn't mean you're abnormal. If your pressure is 22, it's not abnormal. It means you're slightly higher pressure than the average patient. Now, whether or not that pressure of 22 is tolerated is very individual. Some people would tolerate it just fine. Other people need it lowered with medicines, laser, or surgery. Just to give you some idea, the pressure, the device that measures pressure goes all the way up to 80, okay? So sometimes we see extremely high pressures. When the pressures are in the upper 30s, 40s, 50s, almost always that's abnormal. But when you're in the 20s, um, most patients that run 25, for example, may never get glaucoma. Uh, so it's really a very individual thing.